Hey everybody, so today I am going to be filming and starting a challenge and I'm super excited. So let me sit down and tell you guys what I'm going to be doing. So yesterday I went on a walk slash jog and I decided that today I wanted to start challenging myself to try and run one mile in under 10 minutes. So today was the first day and I'm so excited because I was able to do one mile in just under 12 minutes, which was amazing for me. So this morning I thought, hey, why don't I film myself every day and see what running one mile every day for one month looks like. And I'm so excited to be filming this so I can see like any transformation that happens in my body and mentally and just how fast I can run one mile by the end of the month. So I'm so excited to bring this challenge into my life. And let's just start running. Good morning, everybody. Today is day two. I did my mile run today in 13 minutes, which is a little bit more than yesterday's run, but that's okay because I feel like the trail I did today um, was a little bit more uphill. So that's totally fine. Right now I'm on my way to Publix. I'm gonna get some groceries for the day and um, I'm excited to keep doing this run and like challenging myself. And I have been loving listening to Lizzo. She is the best motivator when it comes to running. So that's the update for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Today is day three. I am on my way to do my jog right now. And I actually wanted to show you, I have been taking a Lani new pre-workout. This is the flavor um, Hawaiian shaped ice. It's pretty delicious. Um, so I've been taking pre-workout in the mornings because it really like pumps me up, but I'm excited. It's 7 a.m. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm getting ready to go do my run right now. Hopefully today I do under 13 minutes, but we'll see. And I'm going to do a new trail today and that's basically it. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I just finished today's mile jog. I did it in a little bit over 12 minutes and I'm at this beautiful park here in Orlando called Crane's Roots Park. So I'm so excited because in the beginning of the year, I set this place as a goal for me to jog entirely and I accomplished that today, so I'm so happy. And I'm definitely gonna be coming here like on Saturdays, I think. It's like a 30 minute drive from my house, but girl, look at that sweat and that glow. Today is day five and I'm a little annoyed today because I went on my jog and I could only do half a mile because I got that side cramp that you usually get sometimes when you do too much cardio or like, you know, that cramp that I'm talking about. So I have that annoying cramp and it stopped me from completing my mile, which I'm pretty bummed about, as I said, and just walked back home. So... I didn't even reach, I'm about to reach a full complete mile, but it's just bummy because I've been doing so good these past four days and like today's the fifth day and I was so excited and I was hyped about my playlist. But you know, I'm not gonna be hard on myself. This happens, I still got out there and I still did a little bit. So tomorrow's a new day. Good morning, everybody. Today I already completed my mile jog. It is day six, so. Today was a good one. I think it was a little bit over 13 minutes, which is okay. Good morning, today is day seven. I completed my mile and I'm just sitting on my room floor like channeling my inner Trisha Paytas because she's like queen of YouTube. So if you disagree, bye. Today is day eight and I did my mile jog in like 12 minutes and 30 seconds. And I'm actually in Sarasota. We spent the night here at the beach and we leave today, but maybe I'll show you guys just a piece of the beach later. It's so nice, it's been so relaxing and it was a nice job. I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
Good morning, guys. Today is day nine, and I completed my mile in 11 minutes. I'm so excited because this has been the fastest jog I've done to date. And I'm just so proud of myself because it's only day nine. I still have like 11 or 12 days more left of this month, and I'm like on a high right now, but I'm just so excited because that means I still have 11, 12 days left. So like, keep pushing myself and keep doing my best and maybe reach my goal. But if I don't, I'm just still so excited that I've come this far. Good morning, today is day 10 and I can't believe it's been 10 days since I have been jogging for one mile. And today I completed it in 11 minutes and three seconds. I'm going to give you guys a small little body update since it's been 10 days and I wanna show you guys how I'm looking, but so far I'm feeling really good. Okay, so this is what 169 pounds looks like on me. Everybody is different, but this is how I'm looking like right now. Day 11 finished. I really didn't want to get up today and do my job if I'm being honest. I said that Saturdays I would go to Crane's Roost, the park that I went to last Saturday, but I was just so lazy today to drive and I just didn't I just ran in my neighborhood. But I pushed myself today. I did it in 12 minutes. I did have my pace a little slower because I was like feeling tired, but I still did it in 12 minutes, which is amazing. Good morning, guys. Today is actually day 13. Yesterday was Mother's Day and it was Sunday. And I decided to take a break just because I wanted to rest my body. I've done so good so far. Today, I accomplished my one mile run in 10 minutes and 23 seconds. I literally thought I was gonna throw up and faint, but I did it. And these are the results. This is what it looks like. But I'm so, so, so proud of myself. Good morning, guys. Today's day 14. I did my jog in about 11 minutes and three seconds. So I kind of slowed down my pace today a little bit compared to yesterday. And now I'm going to the gym because it's leg day. Today is day 17 and I am looking like a hot mess. Yesterday and today I got a cold so I couldn't exercise. I've just been recovering. Probably going to take the rest of this weekend as a rest because my body is obviously going through it. So I'm bummed out because, you know, I wasn't planning on getting sick. Nobody plans on getting sick. So... But it's okay, this happens, life happens, and there's not much you can do. Just accept it and move on. Good morning, guys. So today is May 21st. I took the last five days off because on Thursday I got sick. Friday I was still sick. Saturday I went to MegaCon. I don't know if you guys remember two years ago I filmed my MegaCon experience, but this year we went again. I didn't film it this year. Sunday I needed rest, you know, like I also had gotten my period this weekend, so I was just like, let me just rest. And then Monday I was just lazy, if I'm being honest. But today I'm back on my grind. I feel like my body needed a little break. And it's not like I was not active, like Saturday I walked a lot and so I did little stuff, but today I'm definitely back on track, back to my workout grind and I'm just happy. I lost some weight even though not working out. I feel like my body during these transitions and like breaks, I feel like it does go down a little bit. So currently I'm 166, which I cannot believe. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, I'm just in disbelief, to be honest, but I feel amazing. And today I did my mile in 12 minutes and 12 seconds. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Day 22. Just finished my mile jog in 12 minutes and 13 seconds today. All right, guys. Day 23. Just finished my mile jog in 10 minutes and 41 seconds. Hey guys, so it's currently day 24. It's like 8.30 at night and I literally almost did not jog today because I felt just so like, 
tired and lazy and oh, bloated. So, but I pushed myself today. I could only do a little over half a mile. And it was like in six minutes and 16 seconds. I felt like my pace was really good, but I started to get that cramp again. And I feel like it's because I pushed myself. So I'm glad I just did a little, even if it's half a mile, it's better than nothing. Oh gosh, I'm exhausted. Tomorrow is a new day. And this happens. Hey guys, it has been a rough couple of days. I feel like this month too has just been pretty rough where I got sick and right now I have food poisoning. So I haven't jogged in a couple days and I honestly don't know if I'm gonna jog at all for the rest of this month and I feel kind of disappointed in myself. But it happens and I just need to let my body recover. So, yeah, that's just an update. Today is Memorial Day, so I hope everybody's having a nice Memorial Day, and thank you to all who have served our country. Oh, you guys, it has been a rough couple of days. Today is May 29th. I know, I am shocked at how fast this month flew by. Um, I went on a walk slash jog today. I haven't worked out since Friday when I did the half a mile, but today I took it easy since it's been a few days and since I had food poisoning this weekend, it was really, really rough. But today I just did a, like a walk and a jog and it was almost a 40 minute exercise and over two miles and it felt really good to just move my body and not really, you know, focus on hitting my goal or pressuring myself and I'm honestly just really proud of how far I've come so far so yeah that's it for today I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning see how I'm feeling and hopefully go on my jog it is June 30th I did my mile in 10 minutes and 13 seconds I beat my fastest by 10 seconds. I cannot believe it. Halfway through, I felt like crying because I've come so far. I'm at my goal weight that I set myself two years ago and I'm actually here and I'm jogging for 10 miles straight. Like, who am I? I'm so proud of myself. Tomorrow is the last day. And I'm just, just, if I don't make it to 10 minutes, I don't care. I made it so far. Ah. 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 Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is May 31st, which means it's day 31 of my jogging one mile in 10 minutes or under challenge. Today, I didn't go on my jog. I don't know if I'll have time to go later. I always say you have to make time for, you know, things that are important for you, but I don't know if I'll be able to make time today either. It's the weekend. I have a very excited weekend. And you know what? I am just so proud of myself and how far I have come. Um, today, I weighed in at 164.5 which is incredible now granted I did have food poisoning this weekend so I did go a lot down in liquids I weighed myself the day that I the day after from the food poisoning and I was 161 so obviously I'm going back up in pounds a little bit but I'm gonna try to maintain this for some time hopefully like a week or two and I can start losing just a little bit more weight I don't want to lose that much more but I do have a goal in mind and it's really just mostly about how I'm feeling and how I feel I look and my confidence and you guys, I'm just so excited at being able to jog one mile, just in general, not even time. Like, 
I can't believe it. And the fact that yesterday I did it in 10 minutes and 13 seconds, like that blows my mind. So I'm still gonna keep pushing myself whenever I go on my jogs. I think my next goal is going to be distance rather than time. Um, and not really focusing on my pace, but like how far I can go. That's something I really want to work on and eventually do like a 5k, you know, so then I can start focusing on doing a 5k in like 30 minutes or 20 minutes, whatever. So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All of the ups and downs because you guys, it was a challenge and I did go through so much, but we made it and I lost some weight. Let's see. Actually, um, you guys know that I'm not very good at math. I was 172 and now I'm like 164. Let's say 165 because by the end of the day, so six, five. So this month jogging and just eating balance, like I haven't been dieting. I haven't been cutting anything out. Um, I'm down like seven pounds, which is incredible. I can't believe it. And I can honestly tell a difference in my body and like, it's insane. So I'm just so excited to be reaching my goals and it feels so good. And I encourage you guys to get up, get moving and just work towards your goals. It's so, so rewarding. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below your thoughts. Comment down below if you can jog a mile in 10 minutes or whatever you guys can do. Like, I want to hear, you know, praise reports. I want to hear accomplishments. So share all of your accomplishments or your goals down below so we can keep each other in the loop and root for each other. Bye guys. I'll see you in my next video.